Hi, this is Masti Badi for HAP 501, and I'd like to show you how to use the computer uh, to test hypotheses about a population mean using the Z statistic. In order to do that, I'm going to use the example of demonstration problem 9.1, which is on page uh, 306 of your book. Um, in this problem, we're testing to see whether US managers rate customer service uh, as importantly as do UK managers. Uh, and in order to do that, we've taken a sample of uh, 32 US uh, managers and asked ask them to rate uh, how important is um, customer service to them. Now, we know the mean for UK is 4.30. So what we're testing is to see whether the According to this sample, uh, the mean for U US customers uh, would be about the same or not. We're also told that the population standard deviation is 0 0.574. So we have the population standard deviation. We have a sample of more than 30. And therefore, the appropriate test is the Z test. Um, now, first, you have to calculate the critical Z value um, given your alpha. Uh, and the book has chosen the alpha of uh, 0 0.05 uh, for this test. Also remember that the problem has asked us for a one-tailed test uh, because the researchers are only interested in proving that the mean figure is lower in the US. Uh, so our hypothesis is that the mean in the UK uh, is higher than the mean in the US, or reversely, that the mean uh, for this sample uh, should be lower than 4.30. Now, uh, at alpha of 0 0.05, your critical value of z would be minus 1.645. Um, and you can see that by looking it up at the, uh, the z table. Uh, now, in order to conduct the z test, we need to use the function key again. So here, let me choose a cell. Uh, maybe here. And I go under insert to find the function key. Now the test I'm looking for is the statistical. And it's the Z test. So it'll be at the bottom, Z test. Say OK. And then the test will ask you for, first of all, the range of values you have. Uh, so we collect all 32 values. And then it asks you for the mean that you're testing against, which is 4.30. And then it asks you for standard deviation, again, which was given at 0 0.574. And you say OK. And it calculates the statistic. Now, the thing to remember here is because uh, Excel output only has the right tailed p-value of the z statistic. And because our observed z uh, for this problem is negative, you calculate uh, the p-value by 1 minus this calculated value. Say Enter. And here you have a p-value of 0 0.0782 etc. Uh, and because it's a one-tailed test, uh, we don't have to dabble the p-value. This is the p-value we're concerned with. Because our p-value of 0 0.078 is uh, not smaller than our alpha value of 0 0.05, so we have no reason to reject an all hypothesis. In other words, we have no reason to assume that the mean value for managers in the US is not 4.3. Zero. We have no reason uh, to assume that uh, the US managers care less or more about uh, customer service as the managers in UK. Um, so that's it. That's how you conduct a, a Z-test uh, to hypothesize about a population mean um, in Excel.